Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time we circle back to a topic we covered back in episode number 465 of this series, and that is Hardware Wars. If you want to know my thoughts on Hardware Wars as a production, as a story, as a parody, uh, in terms of its place within uh, the history of Star Wars and Star Wars parody, fan-made productions, and all that kind of stuff, go back and check out episode 465. There's no sense in retreading old ground. What we want to look at here is two new releases of it as MVD puts out its MVD Rewind collection and actually gives us not only another DVD release of Hardware Wars, the third of those, but the very first time that we're getting Hardware Wars on Blu-ray, all packaged in a way that pays homage to a degree to some of the stuff we've seen before. Um, so an interesting set of releases here. You may recall as I'm fond of saying. Uh, we should probably count how many times. If there's a drinking game for this show, it's You May Recall's got to be one of the things to drink to. And then people pass out while watching it and don't ever hear the end of it. Um, that This was the first VHS release of Hardware Wars. This was back in 1983. Um, this was from Warner. And it's Warner Home Video here. Got the symbol there, comedy, titles, Hardware Wars, and other film farces. It's not just Hardware Wars. Uh, it is Hardware Wars, Bambi Meets Godzilla, Closet Cases of the Nerd Kind, and Pork Lips Now. Had the information about it on the back. There was a spine. There's a reason we're looking at this one in more detail right now. And then, of course, it was just a standard Warner home video cassette on the inside. But this was that initial release. And then in 1997, during the hype for the Star Wars Special Editions for the original trilogy, we got the Hardware Wars Special Edition. I have it in like a little protective case, hence the reflection here. And then we finally saw the first DVD release of it in 2002 as the original Hardware Wars Collector's Edition here. And then in 2009, we saw another release of it on DVD, this time in this red case here, with sort of this look that's designed to be as if there was an original cover, but it has now faded over time. It's got all these stickers from like a rental place and whatnot. Maybe the case has been torn, so now you can see the cassette through it. Kind of a, a weird sort of hybrid of trying to make it look like a cassette, but not really, um, and giving it that look. Although I would say, given this um, dimension, maybe a drawer case, like the early Star Wars releases, perhaps, uh, from 82 and 83. So maybe if you think of this as a drawer case, the dimensions would make more sense. But we saw all of those releases back in episode 465. Uh, but that was it as of 2009. Well, now here we are in 2024, and now we're finally getting some more new releases of Hardware Wars, which, again, surprised me because it has been so long. But you can't keep a good parody down, I suppose. Certainly not a groundbreaking parody. So, our first new release from MVD for Hardware Wars is this, a new DVD release. And I love the fact that if you look at this cover, you know, yeah, of course it's parodying the original A New Hope poster. But take a look. This is the cover art that is used as the faded cover art of the 2009 release. Nice continuity between packaging there. It says, may the farce be with you. There's your image there, Hardware Wars, a spectacular space saga of romance, rebellion, and household appliances. On the spine, just have the image there, or at least part of the image again, Hardware Wars, DVD, MVD visual, and then the product number. It's part of the MVD Rewind collection, but MVD Visual is the actual company. And on the back, a bit about it. We've talked about this back in 465. A couple of screenshots there, or uh, yeah, images from it. Then we have special features listed, cast crew information, lots of legalese and your various symbols and whatnot. The runtime, of course, is going to be just 13 minutes, but there's plenty of bonus features on this one. One of the things it does include is a little advertising slip in case you were to want to order some trading cards or a little um, uh, like program book as if you were at a premiere of something like they did for um, A New Hope, for example. Uh, so we have exclusive Hardware Wars merchandise, big 7-inch by 5-inch book, uh, written and illustrated by filmmaker Ernie Fossilius. This book is a spoof of behind-the-scenes film books. It is so comprehensive it should have been titled Hardware Wars 2. Get them while they last. The trading cards here. Not sold in stores. Complete your Hardware Wars collection. Get it here. And it's actually an eBay store there, in case anybody wants to look at it. There's the address. Nothing on the back of this. And then here is the new DVD. It says, Hardware Wars, color and runtime, product number, MVD Rewind Collection, Apprehensive Films, DVD, 
the FBI warning symbol here, MVD Vigil, uh, Entertainment Group, blah, 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 blah. And then all your legalese down there. So for this, uh, you have 2.0 stereo as an option, the original 2.0 mono, a director's commentary. There are trailers on here for Hardware Wars itself, for Ghoulies 1 and 2, for Swamp Thing, and The Man from Earth. Um, it includes the director's cut, the prequel, the Antiques Roadshow type thing, uh, the foreign version, the Creature Features interview, uh, all of which have appeared on some previous DVD releases, so none of that stuff is new. Um, but there is some new stuff. There's Harbor War Saves Christmas, which is a separate little special, um, a, an awards thing where it's basically just like a minute-long thing that shows the different awards that it has won, including the 2003 Star Wars Fan Film Pioneer Award. Uh, Pork Lips Now is on here, which of course was on that original one back in the day on VHS. Uh, you also have Plan 9.1 from Outer Space. Um, and the, the Christmas special probably bears a little bit more information here. I did take some notes. It's basically like a read-along book with stills. It's not actually a movie movie. It plays out as video, but it's more like a read-along book kind of thing with stills. Um, it is a, a six-minute long thing. Um, and it actually, it's it's done as a rhyming thing. It's almost like a Dr. Seuss thing where the, the dialogue and whatnot all rhymes and the narrator rhymes, which is kind of an oddball little thing. Never heard of it until this. Um, so you can get all that stuff on the DVD version, or now they have, finally, Hardware Wars on Blu-ray. And I'm going to show you this, and you will understand immediately why I showed you this. This is the Blu-ray release. I cannot tell you how tickled it makes me, do I ever use that phrase, how tickled it makes me to have them do this design as the cover. Beautiful, beautiful. So we have MVD instead of Warner, comedy, MVD Rewind Collection, Harbor Wars, and other film farces. Image there, and then all of your cast crew information down here with Blu-ray disc. Again, just side by side. Thing of beauty there. Um, then the side, the spine, you've got uh, 57 as the number, MVD, MVD Rewind Collection, comedy, Hardware Wars, little part of the image from the cover, product number, and then Blu-ray disc. That's where you want to see that better there. And the other side, pretty similar, but laid out a little bit different. So got the 57. Now here's the image, Hardware Wars, Blu-ray, MVD, product number, and then a little just white patch there. Again, I'm going to do a comparison of the spines. Nice, nice. Uh, it is more comparable uh, you have the spine here, of course, on the left, and here the spine that's on the left is the one that is more closely aligned with it compared to the other side. And then the back, we have images, two images from the film, a hilarious blockbuster movie satire, the information about it, list of special features, then lots of legalese, and of course, all your various icons and stuff down here as normal. Um, the backs are also somewhat designed similarly. Now, obviously, the information is very different because this was promoting multiple things with Hardware Wars being one. This is promoting just Hardware Wars. But you still got a couple images at the top. You still got that white text on black and then your black text on orange with your legalese and stuff at the bottom. Just a really well-done approach to trying to emulate that look there. Uh, even the Warner Home Video at the top versus NVD Rewind collection there in orange. Just... I'm very impressed with that. I am too impressed with that. Um, for someone who's, um, my book, A Saga on Home Video, second edition, um, used covers to emulate the 2000 white VHS covers, I know how tricky it can be to make that work and have it make sense with the information you want to convey and yet still have the look be similar enough to immediately evoke the comparison. This is exceptionally well done in that regard. Anyway, taking this off. Now, what you see underneath may differ depending on how your copy is set up here. I'm going to show you how and why in just a moment. But notice with this, again, why am I showing you all these old versions? The first DVD cover is also somewhat emulated here. Not fully, but, you know, they still have that whole idea of having the red border with the star field behind it. Um, so it's not exactly the same, but similar vein here. So may the farce be with you. The image, Hardware Wars, MVD Rewind Collection. The spine there, 57. The image, Hardware Wars, Blu-ray, MVD. And then product number, MVD Rewind Collection with product number and then the white going around the corner. 
This does go to the back here as well, kind of goes all the way around it at the bottom there. And then the back is going to have your information about it. One image, does note Blu-ray, special features, cast, crew, legalese, then all your logos and so forth down at the bottom. It also has one of those little advertising slips just, you know, shrunk down to different dimensions to fit inside a Blu-ray case. It does have the cover art as a poster here. So you got that. That is not in the DVD. And then the Blu-ray label very similarly set up just with the Blu-ray over there instead of DVD. And what I mentioned about how, you know, your package may look different depending on how you have it set up, that is because very much like what we saw with a UK release of Battle for Indoor ages ago, this is actually a reversible sleeve. So this side looks much more like, honestly, it's kind of a hybridization of this and this, right? Because it mostly looks like an a mostly untouched cover art copy, but then it has some of the stuff on it, including some identical stuff like what you would see on here, like the smiley face and whatnot. So on that side, what we've got here is May the Farce Be With You. Uh, you've got the cover image, then some sticker looking things, rental only, not for sale, stickery looking thing. Another sticker over here contains full length uh, screening cassette, and then MVD Rewind Collection down at the bottom. The spine there, 57 image, Hardware Wars, Blu-ray, MVD Rewind Collection, product number. And then the back, basically the same information, just laid out somewhat differently to fit this new theme. So in its case, you can actually have this emulate either look that you want. Um, it does include all the same stuff that we saw there on DVD. Um, it also, however, has um, a new Hardware Wars 2012 um, HD Master. So this is remastered. Uh, in HD, obviously, for Blu-ray, but there was also a previous remastering in HD in 2012. Both of them are included. There's like the one for this, for 2024, but there's also in the bonus features, the 2012 version. And I would note all the audio for this is LPCM. So better audio, better visual quality, but you also get that earlier version of the, uh, the HD scan that came before. So yes, the king of old-timey Star Wars parodies is back now on DVD again with a lot of returning bonus features and a little bit of new stuff. And now finally for the first time on Blu-ray with some uh, outstanding packaging, all those extras from the DVD and more. A nice way to pick it up and certainly the best way to have Hardware Wars in your collection for viewing, whereas it emulates the classic that is sort of the... Uh, the crown jewel way of having Hardware Wars by having the very first release as well. With that, we'll wrap up this episode, and may the farce be with the home video viewers.